guys this is the video on percent composition it's relatively short but I wanted to kind of separate it from the last topic just because of the length of that video so percent composition is really just looking at how much of a compound is consisting of an element okay so here we're going to be just looking at molar mass and the percent composition of a molecule um, we're not going to really go much further than that so percent composition takes the grams from an element in a compound divides it by the total molar mass of that compound and you multiply by a hundred and so if we looked at water for example now when we find the molar mass of water I typically or the molar mass of anything I typically like to make a table and so I do atom number mass and total for water there's hydrogen and oxygen there's two hydrogens and one oxygen on the periodic table hydrogen is 1.01 .01 and oxygen is 16.00. So the total from hydrogen is 2.02, total from oxygen is 16.00, and our total is 18.02 grams per mole. Now percent composition takes the grams of an element over the total grams of the compound times 100. Well, the reason I like this table is because it sets you up. You take the amount from the one element from this total column and the amount from the compound itself and you plug it in. So this would be 2.02 .02 divided by grams of hydrogen over the 18.02 grams of the whole molecule and you end up multiplying by 100 and you end up getting 11.21% hydrogen, kind of like that. For sulfuric acid, again guys, I'm not going to make you come up with the formula um, H2SO4, but calculate the percent composition of hydrogen and sulfuric acid. Well, let's make a table, atom, number, mass and total. Here we've got hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. There's two hydrogens, one sulfur, and four oxygens. On the periodic table there's 1.01 .01 for hydrogen. Sulfur is 32.06 and oxygen is 16. So we're going to multiply across and we have 2.02, 32.06, and 64. Now, when we go to add this up, you're going to just enter it in the calculator as is, or you can do it by hand. This should be 98.08 grams per mole. So if we're looking for the percent hydrogen, percent hydrogen it's going to be equal to the grams of hydrogen over the grams of the compound times 100 which is going to be again from this column we're going to choose the amount from hydrogen which is 2.02 .02, over the total from the compound which is 98.08 times 100 so you have 2.02 .02 divided by 98.08 .08 times 100, triple checking my math, and you end up getting 2.06% here. So as long as you are making your table um, and plugging it in like this, that is how you find the percent composition.